Surface area of a triangular prism. Start by finding all the shapes in the prism. The first shape is going to be a triangle, and there's two of those. The next shape will be a rectangle on the base, if there's one of those. And the last shape will be a rectangle on either side, and there's two of those. There are five shapes in all. The next step is to find the area of the triangle. The formula for area of a triangle is area is equal to base times height divided by two. This can be written as A equals BH over two. The base is going to be eight centimeters. And a lot of people think the 10 centimeters will be the height. And this is where the most common mistake is made. The 10 centimeters is not the height of the triangle. The height of a triangle is the distance perpendicular from the base to the top point of the triangle. This green dotted line represents the height of the triangle. You'll also notice that the height of the triangle has to be 90 degrees from the base. The formula for finding this out is Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. To solve this, we'll cut our triangle in half, and now we can solve for the height, which in this case we'll call b. You notice the right angle, or the 90 degree angle? The line that's opposite of the 90 degree angle, also known as the hypotenuse, is going to have to be our c. So 10 centimeters will be our c. And our bottom line, for this case, we'll call our A. So since A is going to be half of the original triangle, the distance from A will be four centimeters. We can now solve for B, which is the height. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. 4 squared plus b squared equals 10 squared. 4 squared is 16 and 10 squared is 100. To remove the 16 from the left hand side, we'll have to subtract 16, which means we subtract 16 from the right hand side. The 16s will cancel as we have plus and minus 16, leaving us with b squared. And 100 minus 16 will give us 84. To get rid of the square, the square root of b, we have to take the square root of b squared, which means we take the square root of 84. The square root and the square will cancel, leaving us with just b. And the square root of 84, rounded to the nearest thousandth, will be 9.165 centimeters. We now have the height of our original triangle. So to solve for the area of the entire triangle, the formula is going to be A equals base times height divided by two. The 9.165 centimeters represents the height of the triangle. And the eight centimeters will represent the base of the triangle.
So area is equal to eight times 9.165 divided by two. And this will give us a total answer rounded to the nearest hundredth of 36.66 centimeters squared. We now have to find the area of the side rectangle. Area is equal to base times height. Area equals BH. The base is going to be 20 centimeters and the height is going to be 10 centimeters. And 20 times 10 is going to be 200 centimeters squared. Our last shape will be the bottom rectangle. Area is equal to base times height. A equals B times H. The base is going to be 20 centimeters and the height is going to be eight centimeters. So area is equal to 20 times eight and the area of the bottom rectangle will be 160 centimeters squared. We'll now put it all together. The area of the triangle was 36.66 centimeters squared. And since there are two triangles, we'll multiply this answer by two, giving us a total of 73 0.32 centimeters squared. Next, we'll find the area of the bottom rectangle. This area was 160 centimeters squared and there's only one rectangle on the bottom. And finally, the area of the side rectangle. And this area was 200 centimeters squared. And remember, there are two side rectangles. So that's going to be 200 centimeters times two. So that total area will be 400 centimeters squared. And then your last step will be to add your totals together. So 73.32 plus 160 plus 400 gives you a final total of 633.32 centimeters squared. This will be the area of the entire triangular prism.